Hi, we're here on Fabulous TV. Tell me a little bit about the character you're playing on Lethal Weapon. I'm playing a kooky, crazy cop uh, who's, you know, pretty sad from losing his, his wife and his unborn baby. Um, I think, you know, he had these big plans and it all kind of, the carpet got pulled out from underneath him. And I don't think he's able to get up just yet. Now, how did you feel getting the script for Lethal Weapon, having such a big fan following? Uh, look, I, I didn't want to read the script, right, because I love the movies. So I didn't want to, I was like, get the hell out of here, man. Um, and then after a few more phone calls, I, uh, Mr. Peter Roth from Warner Brothers said, read my script. So I read it and I fell in love. You know, at the end of the day, you don't want to, I don't want to step on any toes, you know, and, and I'm such a fan of Mel Gibson, you know, but I, I, I couldn't as an actor say no to such a juicy character that goes such a, such a range of emotions, you know, so here I am. Do you feel you bring a little bit of the Mel Gibson-ness to it, or are you bringing more your own flavor to it? I, I can't, you know, because I'm not Mel Gibson, so I don't really know how, I, I, I'm not that amazing and awesome. I, I can only bring, you know, Clang Crawford and... And, and also, it's just in a different place. You know, Mel Gibson had two hours to tell his story that first time. You know, we've got 20 hours, so I kind of have to pace the crazy. Um, so I've kind of started him. I'm going to let this be a little more of a genesis. So he's, he's, in a, he's in that place of still trying to make sense of his life, and he's really extremely sad and not sure what to do. And I think the frustration by not being able to take his own life and that he has to face each day, I think that's where the madness will come from. Now, being a fan of the movies and now getting to do the show, what are you most excited about? Like, do you get to know, like, the script two episodes ahead? Uh, I mean, look, I think what's nice about this process is, after being such a fan of the, of the, of the films, we're able to dig a little deeper because we have so much time to tell our story. So there's more of a backstory on Riggs, and we understand who he is and where he came from, and that's really nice. Uh, and I'm curious to kind of see where we go with it. Clayton Crawford, Lead the Weapon. I love Fabulous TV.